Hey, it's your sister from another Mr. Lovely Fly Shy back with another video. Um, so I just wanted to really quickly come on here and um, basically further expand on the video I uploaded prior to this one, which was gang stalking. Um, I go into depth and try to detail it as best as I can. Um, I've honestly been dealing with this for such a long time now that I'm, you know, educating myself and connecting the dots by listening to other people's stories and seeing like, okay, you know, it's not that I feel crazy, but I understand like others would perceive me to be if they knew what it was that I know or if they seen the things that I seen and dealt with the things that I dealt with. They think it was just some made up nonsense. They think I was just some, perhaps some egotistical fuck, just making it seem like, like I'm just Beyonce or Kim Kardashian and like, oh, they're stalking me. This shit is real. You know, and I, had seen some of the comments on like other people's videos and it's just very disheartening to see how ignorant people are to this as if someone really wants to go through this you'll have maybe a week of some peace where you can finally sleep without dealing with the sleep paralysis um you know or that succubus and incubus spirit that tries to attach itself to you. You can feel it in your sleep, you know? And as I was reflecting, you know, as, I'm, as I often am, I was thinking to myself, like, you know, I've been dealing with this longer than, than just 2019, but I guess, of course, I wasn't hip to it then. I didn't have a name for it. There was no term that I was knowledgeable of at the time so you know at this point I couldn't really like couldn't really tell you honestly but shit I I don't know I think it started in elementary school like this is so confusing because a lot of people try to make it seem like again as if this is just some made up bullshit la la land shit and it's not you know, just the the calculated and very strategic methods these people use and the different ploys that they use, you know, um, the V2K techniques. Um, in my fight with that, I've become, <clears throat> I wouldn't say I'm like necessarily as strong as I wish to be, but I've become stronger and stronger as time progresses um, with the help of, you know, the most high creator of all things, of course. You know, he's not going to let his chosen ones just go cuckoo for cuckoo puffs behind this mess when we are we have a specific mission, you know, and um, yeah, I just I don't know. I'm just really shaking my head about it all. Because it's like, yes, I can move. And, you know, no, I'm not speaking this into existence, but, you know, most high forbid, it's the same shit. And just listening and looking at other people's videos, of course, you take everything with a grain of salt. You don't apply nothing to your situation just because, you know, certain things connect the dots. You take what resonates and leave what doesn't, right? And so... I just realized like, not only is this making me stronger mentally and spiritually, because it's, you know, this is a spiritual attack, a mental and psychological attack, you know, but it's just making me more insightful and aware, you know, and that's probably why I spend so much time as of late, just alone. Because it's difficult to trust, you know, and I know, like, I don't want to 
fear monger or put that energy out there like you shouldn't trust people or shouldn't be around people but like that's honestly what I've been being divinely guided to do was not be around people to question everything you know um and to stop being in denial about people's actions especially if they do some just weird off the wall shit like you got one time to slip up with me and that's it you know and that's why like just earlier this year the attack was heavy but again I was just I was abusing the pills earlier this year heavy with the alcoholism I was so just as I look back and reflect on certain things I was just so that my mind was gone and now that I have my mind back, you know, I'm strengthening up and I'm guarding up, you know, for this war, you know, and I'm prepared for the attack, you know, and I'm going to continue to make videos about my experience <laughs> and I'm going to continue to reiterate whether people feel differently or not. That has nothing to do with me. But I know why this is happening. I know who has had a hand in this and who still has a hand in this. And it's on such a, it's on such a level to where, how can I put this? Um, it's on such a level to where it's not doing anything but fueling me. You know, sometimes I'll flip-flop in energy, though. I'll get frustrated, especially when I can't sleep for days. Or sleeping too much. It's just, it's just a lot. Um, sometimes it's even hard to just get my, my damn thoughts together. Because it's just so much going on throughout the day. So much purging and you know, just trying to maintain the energy and the frequency and the vibration, you know, and um, that shit's a fight, you know, um, to my targeted individuals out there, to those dealing with gang stalking, you know, I just want you to know that, look, we can create our own little support group. Um, I don't know if on here, Instagram, shit, I'm not really like, I don't really want to fuck with Facebook like that because I think Facebook plays a huge part in it. Like, again, I know, like, a lot of this may sound crazy, but this community surveillance, this different shit, like, you know, gang stalking, it takes a toll on your, your finances. Um, like, it takes a toll on a lot, you know. Um, it's It's like dealing with just an individualistic, in ritualistic form of systematic oppression. But yet the community is in on it as well. They've allowed themselves to be used, you know, merely as hosts. You know, um, this shit gets deep. But <clears throat> I'm not afraid. You know, I am just... I'm just to my breakthrough. I feel it. I am just to the other side of all of this. And this may never end. But I can surely tell you that I'll I'll possess and be fully equipped with the tools needed to deal with it as I've been doing up until this point. You know, um Just so many different things. Like, I also wanted to add a, another couple of examples because a lot of you may be being gang stalked, but have no idea. Like, random things that'll happen. That's why I don't even like being in public anymore. Like, people trying to purposely bump into you, um, trying their hardest to go out of their way to bump you just to get a reaction out of you. It's like, what happened to me a couple of weeks ago in Walmart? Someone trying to. Well, actually, she didn't try to. She did cut in front of me. And I was fuming freaking hot. Like, if, if this would have been the low vibrational me, I would have definitely reacted. 
you know, and it would have been a fight. And I know what it were, I know what it would have resulted in. So therefore, I know that my my steps are being divinely guided during during this time. Because I I can't I can't be knocked off my rocker. I can't be knocked off my path. I can't be interrupted or distracted from my mission. You know, and neither can you. Whether you're targeted or dealing with this gang stalking, um, you've dealt with it in the past or you still are like, no matter how long you've been dealing with it, you know, there is a purpose at the end of all this. There is a reason, you know, and once you can become aware of that, you can develop ways to deal with it. You know, I kill these motherfuckers with kindness over here. You know, I'll tell you one thing, though, and this is what I will um, just share with you. Like, spirit is actually directing me and guiding me to share this. Like, I would not, especially if you're targeted and you know you are, like, it's just no denying it. Um, I wouldn't look like, especially if you live in apartments like I do, I wouldn't look none of your neighbors in the eye. I wouldn't give them any kind of, like, nothing because you don't know what's behind those eyes. Okay, I'm just tell you that straight out. <laughs> you don't know what's behind those eyes. You know, and they wouldn't be trying to go out of their way to do just weird ass shit, trying to get you to speak to them, trying to get you to say something. You know, like you aren't entitled to say anything to anyone. I don't give a damn how anyone feels. Not during these times, you know, as heavy as the spiritual warfare is. You know, you can be polite, you can be kind, you know, when, when you're divinely guided to do that. But your spirit knows when a person is off. Your spirit knows when something is off. So for any of you out there feeling crazy, I know some of you have left different comments like, you are not crazy. I've been past the point of feeling crazy. I went through that for, it was... Not only was I dealing with the, the gang stalking, but I was dealing with the dark night of the soul, you know, when I first started my shadow work, when I first started unraveling um, and dealing with certain traumas from my past. It seems it seems like the moment I started doing that and, and I came to the conclusion that I was going to, you know, let my addictions go and, you know, step away from sex work and, you know, leave these people behind, leave those people behind and this, that and the other, block this person, block that person. It seems like the attacks have gotten heavier and heavier. And if can't nobody see this, then you're obviously blind. You know, when you're rising up, when you're leveling up and when you are truly chosen for something that only the divine, the most high knows, and you know your higher self knows, but it's hard for you to, to keep hold of that because of all of the spiritual warfare and different forms of, you know, gang stalking that you may deal with, you know, um, you thinking of something in your head and then seeing the very ad for that on Facebook or something, that's a form of gang stalking. That's a form of being gang stalked, surveillanced, you know? So once again, you know, I just hope that this inspires someone to keep on sharing what it is that they are going through. Um, we all cannot be silenced, you know, and we're more powerful in numbers. You know, if you all ever need anyone to talk to, I will leave my email down below you know um i'm not a psychiatrist I, but i can be a, a listening ear and i can give you some kind words some uplifting words you know um but yeah like can you really be targeted from birth because that's the first thing that came to mind when i asked myself when did this start because i just equated it to <clears throat> you know those apartments because I don't know I guess I don't know why I equated it to that out of all things right I guess I didn't I didn't think nothing of I guess the childhood bullying and how that goes hand in hand with it always being a target of someone's fucking something someone's tactic that is gang stalking and I've been fucking targeted since elementary school 
Like, it's not funny. And this isn't nothing to brag or be proud about. Do you really think that I want to deal with this shit? Amongst everything else I'm dealing with. I'm a mother. I'm trying to rebuild and grow and, and overcome all the other stuff that I had been through. On top of the spiritual warfare. On top of the gang stalking. And I'm still implementing and developing ways and resources to, to continue to go forth with the help of my spiritual team, with the help of the most high creator of all things. And as long as I know that I have this, and I mean that true voice, that true inner voice that I can decipher, you know, and as long as I keep my temple clean, you know, continue to fast, I think... If you are dealing with gang stalking, I do think it's important, like, for you to fast. Like, I drink a lot of water. Um, I've, as of late, I've started eating better. Like, I've cleaned up my diet. I noticed that the sleep paralysis isn't as heavy now that I don't eat meat that much. Um, I'm not going to lie, I do still eat, like, seafood, um, but not that much. Like, I don't even really care for shrimp like that no more. I just feel like all the food's fucking fake. They put all these chemicals and shit in it, like... You just shit you just don't know if you're coming or going nowadays like and again this isn't to fear monger this isn't to bitch moan or complain but this is just to share some real shit some real deal holy feel stuff you know if you're not dealing with this all praise you you're fucking lucky you know but at the same time if you're not you're obviously not chosen you probably an empty seater i mean some I, I don't know you could be dealing with something else like i, I just i don't know like, this shit is really, it's crazy. But, again, I've just been staying busy, doing what needs to be done, you know, allowing spirit to direct me. And, um, all I can say to my fellow targeted individuals, it sucks that we even have to refer to ourselves as this. Like, it's something to be proud of. A term that, uh, just something to coin and, and categorize ourselves under it's actually quite pathetic that a group some principalities some dark beings some just pure evil wants to try to destruct what was already ordained and written trying to do the best that they can to destroy us except we're not easily broken you know um <sighs> something else but right now I can just encourage you all to do is just do what makes you feel good you know um, tap into that inner child tap into those activities that you enjoy doing as a child you know to help distract yourself from this because it can get it can get to be a lot for real but um i'm just gonna leave you guys with that um <sighs> fear thy not fear thy not you know um be still and wait on the lord i love that that scripture my grandma she would always share that and say that to me and it's funny how in different phases of my life and in different experiences that come across you know although I'm not a Christian or you know as you all see my spiritual walk but I never once said the Bible didn't have no good points like there is some good things that you know that have been said in the Bible some good books and such so but um yeah just keep on keeping on survivors that's all I can tell you you know, it's just a damn shame. Like, I don't know if this has been your experience. Just drop your experience down below. But, like, I really honestly am equating this to soul ties. So, like, fucking soul ties, different spirits trying to attach themselves to you through other people. So, watch who you bring in your house. Like, I'm, like, I don't give a damn. I'm just trying to warn those that, that need this, this message because this shit is real, like, 
get some sage, some Palo Santo, keep some motherfucking incense, some candles. Um, always keep your energy, your vibration, and your frequency high no matter what. Um, but yeah, just, you know, listen to some music, whether whatever, just uplifting, praise, gospel, whatever, just uplifts your spirit. But try not to put so much energy into the thought of what it is that you're experiencing. That's not to say be completely aloof or just as if it's not happening. But, you know, you have to understand where to direct your energy. And you have you still have a mission. You still have purpose. All right. You still have breath in your body. You're still here fighting in the physical and in the spiritual. Okay. So <clears throat> I hope this resonated with someone. Um, I feel like I had something else to say, but I can't quite remember. Um, yeah, but just do what feels good for you at this moment. Okay. You are protected. Do not give in to fear. Do not give in to worry. You know, do what makes you feel good during this time. Okay? With love always, survivors. Peace.